It's another sunny day in New York Traffic City. Is, well, as you would expect, slowly good moving afternoon. in Houston. It's another sunny day in Philadelphia. Feels good out no there. No shocker, traffic slowly moving in Boston. We go above and beyond, getting you through that lunch hour and another meeting with Karen in Columbia, it's South Dan Carolina. Carlini, and it's high noon, getting good you through morning. Good morning. Good morning, Boston. Motor I'll be honest, these are the type of days I absolutely love. El tráfico está lento esta mañana por todo San Diego. It's always hot in here. Radio matters because Americans listen to radio every day, every week. It fits a place. Socioeconomically, it doesn't matter. Everyone turns to radio for one reason or another. Because it's part of culture, it can be used in different ways. It can be a public service. It can be used to, to monetize things. It can be used to get information to people when it matters. Radio matters to me because it allows connection to the community. It allows us to build our brands with great reach and frequency in all of our markets. It is a local precision tool that we can deploy at any time. I know as a talk show host you have connection with an audience. I know when people call who I'm talking to. There's a sort of one-on-one -on -one intimacy that doesn't exist, hasn't been close in this world of podcasts and TV to being replaced, and I don't think it ever will. It will remain the most intimate medium until this, this place is gone. Radio matters because it works for our clients. We get concrete results. We see people in stores buying phones, buying pizzas, radio works, we see the lift in traffic. It allows us to connect consumers in a different type of way. We can tell a story, we can try to have a promo with an offer. It gives us a whole range of options to connect with consumers in a different kind of way. It starts with the consumer and they have an emotional connection, hopefully a joyful connection, you know, with the medium itself. And it's often a solo experience that happens right before they shop. We can now prove the impact of what they heard on what they bought. And on top of the foundation of reach, that's an excellent place to start. This is a golden age for audio. There are more ways to deliver it, more ways to consume it. And the quality and variety is better than ever. Audio is really the only medium that people do while they're doing other things, like while they're driving, while they're working out, while they're cooking, while they're working at their desk. People consume audio and the experience is not diminished. Audio seems to, to be perfect for kind of multitasking and I feel like more and more brands are figuring that out, that people want content while they are living their lives and not making time for the content. Digital's made a lot of inroads talking about native advertising and about social influencers. And I look at the radio medium and particularly DJ endorsements, and I like to think that DJ endorsements, which local radio really owns, are the original form of native advertising. They're embedded content. We talk a lot about content creation. Radio's always been able to do that, and we could even say that DJs are the original social media influencers. Radio matters because it's a very involved community citizen in its local towns, and that is what we do best. We help our retailers, we serve our listeners. We also employ a lot of people in our local radio stations. So local, live, free, these are really important foundations for the radio industry and will always be. The audio medium is incredibly powerful, and nobody hums the visual. What you hear is it embeds itself in your brain, and radio is the best medium for getting that audio message across. Radio matters because of the theater of the mind and the fact that it is so consistently innovative, it is so consistently here. We will always stand firm and always be effective. It's quitting time in New York City. You made it drive safe on your way home, and we're happy to be your soundtrack. It's quitting time. If I had a five o'clock whistle, I would blow it for you, but there's no whistle, so I'll just go home. <laughs>